Tajikistan has no large industry besides a large aluminum plant, some hydropower facilities, and some small factories in light industry and food processing. To develop the situation in Tajikistan, Sharapova Sanavbar started the organization Iman International. Iman is primarily aiming towards women, as almost 50% of the working population is working abroad. The majority of those are men. Iman has become the main force in developing small business and financing their operation with micro-lending and has more than 30,000 customers. The Tajik infrastructure is less developed and the most important tool for doing business is the mobile phone. T-Cell is the leading operator in Tajikistan and in 2009 they launched a women's subscription, Sanam, to meet this situation. This subscription has become the main tool for the women of Tajikistan as it is less expensive and suits women and their situation. In fact, Tajikistan is a very isolated country with a very poor communication infrastructure. And for the clients who are women clients of our organization, and most of them are women who are engaged in the business activities, it's very important to be in a very fast and um, very uh, efficient communication in their daily business. And I think uh, this uh, subscription is really meeting the demand of the most women who are in the business and who are on daily, ba daily ba basis would like to talk with their business alliances, uh, to their business partners, to woman to woman. And I think it's a very good uh, proposal on the market right now. I am the head of the microfinance institution called Imon International. It is one of the leading microfinance institutions in the country and uh, very symbolic that we started our activity in the, the same year when TCL started the operation in the country. And that's why from the first days of the uh, operation of the microfinance in the country we've been a very good uh, and a very nice partner with the T-Cell from the early years of their establishment. We're the biggest one and we are providing financial services in a very remote areas in the country. And that's why using mobile, cell phones, uh, communication in our activity is very important. Typical, our clients in the, for example, urban areas would be women who are engaged in the sewing, hairdressing, um, or trade. We're providing very small loans uh, and uh, no one can imagine that, uh, for example, with $70 or $50 you can do something. But this is the reality in my country. We're providing very small loans with the range of $100 to sometimes $1,000 for the group of women with no collateral uh, who would like really to establish and expand their business operations. So we're trying to help them to survive, in fact, to help them to find a way for the many questions that they're raising for us related to the tax regulation, related to the operation in the very challenging environments in the rural isolated areas. That's why when we're talking about microfinance institutions, it's a financial institution, but in fact, it is more than finance. It's providing package of other non-financial services like training, consultancies, legal advices to them in order to enable them to operate as a business people.